Is it true that when someone sins against you over and over again that you're supposed to have a heart of forgiveness and allow that to go? Hey, Jesus said it. Forgive them 70 times seven. Not always easy to do and not always easy to process because sometimes the blind uh, anger and bitterness that we get because of what someone has done for us, to us rather, causes us to shun them, causes us not to want to see them, not to want to deal with them, just kind of ignore them. Have you ever been there before? If you haven't, you will at some point in life. But the thing is, the reason that Jesus tells us that it's important for us to forgive others is because if we don't forgive others, it's like us drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Unforgiveness really hurts us in our emotions and even physically. I've seen people like that over the many years of ministry that I've been in that have been embittered and refused to forgive people because they have a right to their unforgiveness. They have a right to their bitterness. And you know, it's justifiable, you're right. But the problem is it is, is something that slowly kills us. It slowly destroys our mind. It slowly destroys our body. Bitterness, the Bible says, is a rot to your bones. There's people that have gotten physically sick because anger, bitterness, unforgiveness is the thing that really controlled their life. And that person who's moved on, who's not even thinking about you, is renting space in your head, in your emotions, in your thought life for free. So my friend, the thing is, the reason Jesus told us that it's important to forgive people 70 times seven is because he realized that it blocked us up emotionally, it blocked us up spiritually. And God wants you to be wide open to let his love, his grace, his forgiveness, his healing touch to flow into your life. And if we hold it back with a spirit of unforgiveness, it's like we put a dam on the potential of the glory of the rivers and waters of healing from God himself. So let's make a decision today. It's not easy. You say, I don't feel like forgiving. Who said it's about feelings anyway? Let's make a decision right now as you're watching to say that person, my aunt, my uncle, my mother, my father, my friend, betrayed me. I'm going to make a decision to forgive them. I can think of someone else who gave us a great model of that. When Judas betrayed Jesus in the garden, he called him his friend. Tough, tough act to follow. But you can do and I can do all things through the Lord Jesus Christ who strengthens us. Lord, we're making a decision today to forgive those that have hurt us and offended us. But let me just put this in there. That doesn't mean you have to trust that person in areas of their life or become vulnerable to that person. You just need to forgive and remain vulnerable to God Almighty. Can I pray with you? Father, I know that this is one of the most difficult subjects that we deal with. There are people that have had unforgiveness for 30 or 40 years against a family member, and it's been a hard go. I pray, Lord, that today somehow you break that hard shell that we're holding around our heart, and you allow us to be vulnerable to you and allow us to, to have the strength and the fortitude to make the decision to forgive somebody. And I know those feelings will follow after. Lord, I commit them into your hands and into your care. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love you, my friend. I know it's not easy, but the Lord will help you forgive.